Hi, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, we are going to talk about mission control in macOS Lion. So, mission control is actually this icon, so you can access it by clicking a uh, mission control icon from your dock once, and it will show you mission control. So, you can see your desktop and your dashboard. And then if you want to go back to your desktop, you can just click once anywhere in your uh, desktop. And the other one, that uh, the other way to access Mission Control is launch your launch pad, and you will see uh, Mission Control over here. And the other alternative, you can also use your uh, F3 keyboard key, and then it will access Mission Control. So now we are in Mission Control. You see that you see my first desktop over here, and then the dashboard. And if you hover your mouse to the right side, you see that there is a plus button over here, and you can add your another desktop. You see that there is a desktop tool. If you don't like it, you can just close it, desktop tool, and then it will be gone. What is the use of this uh, desktop dashboard in Mission Control? So um, now I'm going to give you any example. Uh, first step is I'm going to open, for example, Safari. Right, I open Safari now, and uh, next I will open. Hmm, what is it? Uh, for example, like uh, at iCal, right? And maybe address book, right? Now I have three windows here open. If you uh, launch your mission control, you will see that I have Safari, address book, and my calendar, and these uh, three application windows are actually in one desktop. So uh, by clicking this plus button and you can add another desktop, it's called desktop 2, and you can move uh, one or any of these uh, windows to the desktop 2. For example, I want this address book to be on desktop 2 and this uh, calendar in desktop 2 because uh, I want this Safari to be in the desktop 1. So now I'm on desktop one. Uh, as you remember that I have two desktop, how to access that desktop? You can use your two fingers and swipe to the right to access the other desktop, I mean to the left. You see that this is the other desktop, the second desktop. I have a iCal and address book over there. And then if I want to go back to my um, first desktop, then I swipe to the right. Uh, but not on calendar, but to the uh, background of your desktop. That will bring me to the uh, desktop one, and if I swipe again to the right, I will be on my dashboard. So that's how you use um, mission control. It's quite nice. And now I'm going to show you how about if I uh, delete this desktop two. You will see if I delete this desktop too, these two applications will actually go to the active desktop. So I close it now, I close the uh, X icon there, and you will see that these two applications which were in desktop 2 uh, go to the desktop 1. So that's how you use um, mission control. Next is, uh, now we go to the dashboard, again I can use swipe, so use your two fingers and swipe to the right. And I am on my desktop, uh, my dashboard. Sorry. So in this dashboard, uh, this is the uh, default um, widgets that you can find in desktop. And actually, you can change. I am now actually not in this city. So here in the I icon, you can click it and change your location. For example, my location is, for example, now I'm in Stuttgart. If I can write, right? Stuttgart, and it will automatically uh, filled up by Yahoo. And then I'm going to click done, and it will show me the uh, the weather of Stuttgart. Well, actually, it's not really cold today compared with the uh, last days in the week, but it's still winter. So that's how you uh, change your location. But here, uh, if you notice earlier, we have include lows in six day forecast. Uh, what happened if I click on that uh, box? Now I click done, and you see this on the bottom. It shows the uh, low temperature in the six days forecast. So now uh, you can also use the calculator and the calendar and also the time. I am not in Cardiff, so I'm going to uh, type in that I'm 
on religion rage in Europe. That's already correct. And the city I'm going to look for Stuttgart. S T U. It looks like they don't have it. So Berlin. There we have it. And I click done. As you can see now, I have Berlin. So for example, now I have a family in Asia, in Indonesia. So I want to add this um, calendar with uh, this uh, weather forecast uh, widget again for Indonesia. I can then click this plus button and choose the weather forecast. There it is. And here I can drag and place anywhere I want. For example, here I'm going to click uh, Jakarta. Indonesia. It's uh, already filled in and I click include lows uh, in six day forecast, click done. And now I see that uh, in my homeland it's quite warm over there and I kind of miss it but that's how you use the widgets. And then for the um, clock that you can also uh, use like the weather forecast widget so you can click plus and then you see that there is a word clock over here and then I click it same again like the weather uh, widget I want rage in Asia and I want the city Jakarta there it is easy to find and hit done right this is my uh, homeland time and this is where I am now so that's how you use widget if you want to come back you can actually just click on the arrow button or add another widget it's up to you but that's actually how you use uh, your dashboard and mission control as well as adding desktop and deleting desktop so thanks for watching this video take care of yourself see you in the next video goodbye